Hi Ouya folks, this is Tim Grotman, and this video is about setting up the drivers on the Mac for the Ouya. Alright, so we'll start with the Android SDK. If you want to use the SDK Revision 21, I'll put a direct link to the download in the description for the video. And this is because version 22 causes some problems with uh, the current version of Unity and some other engines. So instead you go and install the uh, revision 21 and then you can just install the packages um, the platforms for version 16 so first we're just going to make a directory a standard place to hold the SDK so I'm going to make a directory for Android in the home directory and then I'm just gonna uh, after I unpack that download I'm just going to move it into the Android folder in a standard standard place that scripts usually look for. Once we have it in the standard place, we can add it to our bash shell paths so that ADB and the, the Android SDK tools are always available in the terminal. So once you've unpacked it uh, and you go into the tools, you can run Android and that will bring up the SDK manager. And all you really need is you want the platform tools and you want the SDK platform for API 16. After you install this, then the extras will appear and then we can install the Android support library. Okay, so we have the Android SDK platform tools and API 16, the SDK platform. Okay, go ahead and install those packages, accept all, click install, then I'll download, install those things, okay, and now the extras appear, and we can install the Android support library. Okay, great. So we're done with the SDK manager at this point. Okay, now I'm going to edit the bash RC script. And you can copy and paste this directly from the setup instructions. So I'll post a link to these values. And that basically puts ADB in our path once we run the bash shell. And depending on your favorite shell, you just you know, add it to the bash profile or whatever uh, profile that sets your paths. You know, config files and all that. Okay, so... Also, now that I can run commands, I ran Android update ADB, and that will make a .android subfolder in your home directory. And that went pretty fast. Okay, in your Android subfolder, you'll find this Android ADB underscore USB INI file. And this is where we add the hex value so that the OUYA device will be found. All right. So I use, you can use your favorite text editor. I just used V to quickly edit that. You can also concatenate the record into the file and pipe it to the file. Anyways, text editor, edit the, add the hex entry. And then at this point, you want to reboot your console. So you can hold down your power button, unplug the power, plug it back in, and then turn it back on. And it might take a little bit to come back up. 
Okay, and while it's still rebooting, if we do ADB devices, until ADB connects, it's still waiting for it. Um, you can also put a couple commands together with the double ampersand ampersand. Okay, so we can run an ADB kill server and then put another command on the same line with ampersand ampersand and then ADB devices. Since we always put them together like that anyways. And there we go. The UIA device now shows up on Mac. Ta-da! Alright, hopefully this helped and thanks for watching.